you're gonna be living a lot of life. So next weekend, Lucas and I will be going to Coachella. This is my third year and my second. Each year, we've learned more and more about how to make the most out of our Coachella experience. Starting with what to expect when you walk into the festival. First thing to expect is it's going to be hot. Next thing is literally they're going to take everything out of your car and search it. So make sure that everything is in bags and mobile. You will meet some of the coolest people you have ever met in your life when they offer you tater tots and tell you about their gambling addictions and traveling the world. One of the most inevitable things about going to Coachella is you're gonna leave poorer than you came. There's just so much merch, CDs, and everything that you can spend your money on. The final thing you should expect is you're going to be exhausted. This brings us to the question, what should you bring? The general theory here is less is more. A lot of times people bring way too much stuff that ends up weighing them down and they're carrying it around for three days. You're gonna need sun protection. Sunscreen has hats, sunglasses, anything to keep the sun off of your body. If you can, use an old phone. Lucas's phone never dies. This thing lasts the entire festival and he never has to charge it once. I can't emphasize enough how much water you're going to drink while you're here. You need a refillable water bottle so that when you get into the venue you can use the fill stations. If you need to carry things like your cell phone charger and water bottle and don't want to just have it in your pockets, you can use a cinch pack. Cinch packs are small enough that they don't get in other people's way too much when you're in the crowds. And they don't have zippers so people can't open your backpack and take things out without you knowing. Bring shoes that you're okay with sacrificing to the Coachella gods that you will not be able to wear afterwards. They'll be too stinky, too dirty, too stepped on, too destroyed, ripped, and torn. One of our favorite stories from our festival experiences was two years ago at Outside Lands. We were at Justice's set and we were going to be late to catch the last Bart ride out of San Francisco. There were so many people at Justice's set that there was no way we were gonna get out in time just walking. So I had the idea of crowd surfing out of there. While we were crowd surfing, Lucas and I got separated. He lost his phone and I lost my wallet. But I was able to borrow somebody's phone and get back with Vince and we had to sprint out of Golden Gate Park and catch a shuttle to get to the bar station to make it home. Things to learn from this experience are one, make sure to protect your wallet. Don't leave it in open pockets. Try and have a zipper or something to keep it enclosed or put it in your cinch pack. If you can, don't even bring your wallet. Just bring your cash and your ID. One of the perks of having a festival phone is that if you lose it, someone is going to return it because it's not worth selling anywhere. Even though we actually lost things during this experience, this is one of our favorite stories. During the festival, these are some things you should take advantage of. Number one, merch is gonna sell out and you need to get your shirts the first day. Right when you get into the festival, the bathrooms are just freshly cleaned, there's no water lines and there's always space to charge your phone. Honestly, getting into the festival when it first opens is a really nice hangout because when you're in your tent, it's gonna be hot. So in midday at noon when it first opens, you can go and hide in the charging station where there's air conditioning and charge your phone and relax and meet people at the same time. During the festival, free is your friend. So take advantage of everything you see free. Popsicles, crafts, women. <laughs> you say it, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'll just tell me when to say free popsicles. <laughs> Even if it is a pina colada popsicle. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a pina colada popsicle. <laughs> Why is that an even? <laughs> what? They're disgusting. Don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look at me. Popsicles. Free popsicles. Lastly, when things are winding down at the festival, take a shower at night right before it closes at 2 a.m. There are never any lines and everyone always goes in the morning for some reason. So overall, have fun. And be prepared to live like you've never lived before in the next three days. That was a good take. We're done. Silence. Aw, oh, Vince. La, 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 la. I got more. <laughs> yes, I made love to the camera.